Evolving Sky's booster boxes have officially hit $400 each. But with a set that was released less than two years ago, is it really worth opening up? They crammed so many amazing artworks into one set that it's almost impossible not to want to open this up. But with so much demand for this set, it's no wonder that it ended up being one of the most expensive sets from the Sword and Shield era. So today we're going to be putting $400 on the line to see if it's really worth opening up a box of Evolving Sky. <laughs> So here it is, everybody's favorite set, Evolving Skies. It's kind of crazy because we opened this up when it was first released and attempted to pull every card in the set. And I mean, when it was released, it was just the normal price of booster packs. You know, it wasn't anything too crazy, but we all knew this set was really nice. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen them, which I think everybody has by now, these are the artworks that you get in Evolving Skies. Let's open up. I can't believe it. Like, this is $400 now. This is ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. All right, we pop the top and let's just get it going. And really quickly, before we start, I want to let you know that I'm giving away another Scarlet and Violet base set booster box to one subscriber. If you'd like to hit the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, so basically, if you pull the Moonbury on here, you're already good to go. Like, this card's worth, I guess, $600 raw. The Rayquaza is $300. So you pull just the Rayquaza, you're still not at the $400 mark. That's ungraded though, so like if you grade it and it comes back at 10, it could be like a lot different. And then here's just like some of the crazy artworks that you can get in this set and the prices for them. But basically, you need to pull some of those crazy alternate artworks here. Each of these booster packs, technically, it's going for around $11 if you get them straight from a booster box. They're probably around $8 each if you just buy them loose. And if you can find them in like a store, you get like super lucky, you can get them for normal retail price, which is kind of tough to do, but I still see people pulling it off. So I don't know. Well, you just kind of get, get you gotta get super super lucky fletchling we got scraggy and non hollow there's no subset in evolving skies easier which makes it even more difficult to get your money back if you're not getting like some actual good pulls in the main part of the set because there's only the main part of the set that's the thing with evolving skies the pull rates are not amazing either so like i don't know it's it's, it's gonna be really really tough phoebus hit my champ and we do have an Umbreon V card, probably one of the coolest regular Vs you could get. So even though this card's really cool, it's only worth two bucks raw. So there you go. $398 left to go here. Uh, all right. So yeah, it's going to be brutal trying to make this happen. But either way, just to open a box this now, I guess is kind of crazy. Um, I guess these are like half the price of Evolutions now. Because I guess Evolutions boxes are probably like 800, 900. I don't really know. I haven't checked in a while. Save a lie. In a Sharpedo. It would be really cool if they reprinted this. I think if they reprinted it, they would not be able to print anywhere near enough. But it would still bring the price down a bit for a little while at least, which would be cool. Um, but I just don't know, like, why would they reprint Evolving Skies? I don't know. I don't see them doing it. I feel like if they reprint anything, it would be later Sword and Shield sets, like uh, Brilliant Stars maybe, and uh, stuff like that. But I've opened really good boxes of Evolving Skies. I've opened really bad boxes of Evolving Skies, so it can go either way. Um, the only thing is, like, you're not guaranteed alternate artworks in a box either, so if you don't get an alt art in a box, you're pretty much done. Like, you need to get a, a good alt art. Skip Loom, Seismic Toad. All right, let's keep rolling. Whew. I did open up a stack of Evolving Skies packs not too long ago, and I did pull the Moonbray on, and I felt like that was kind of like, I just got super, super lucky on that. Pikachu, but what can we do with just from one booster box of this crazy set? I don't know. Oh my god, not even getting any hollows. I need more luck here. Nothing so far. Oh my god. So this still has the earlier, like, pull rates of Sword and Shield sets. Which is crazy because they were not the best. Um, they got way better once they introduced the trainer galleries and stuff like that. Give me something, lucky ice pop. And it's okay, give me something better than that. I'm getting destroyed right now. I'm getting destroyed right now. This is like, this is going to be a good way for you guys, I guess, to at least get somewhat of an idea of what you could maybe expect to pull, at least pull rate, rate wise, out of a box of this. I don't know. It's crazy. Like, it doesn't really make sense to even attempt this, to be honest with you. Florges. I did prove myself wrong, though, when I did try it the one time with a bunch of packs a couple months ago. And like I said, I pulled the, um, the Moonbreon. But like, basically, that is a huge game changer because, like I said, that card was like $600 raw, which still doesn't make any sense to me why that card is that much. Wubek, Lombre, and the Talon Flame. It's a cool card, don't get me wrong, but like, I feel like there's just like a lot of hype around that. Like, Moomerion's cool, you know what I mean? But, uh, like, Rayquaza is really cool too, and all the other artworks in there, like Dragonite, Sylveon, all that stuff. I mean, I get it, but I also don't get it, so I don't know. You guys tell me if I'm missing something. We got the scroll of the dragon, the flying dragon. 
And there we go, Rayquaza V card. Okay, that's the thing with this set. Even the, all the regular V card artworks are really nice. Three hundred ninety-seven dollars left to go here. This card's only about a dollar, unfortunately. It's a cool V card, it's Rayquaza, but uh, it is not paying the bills. I'll tell you that. It's definitely not paying the bills, guys. Um, listen, this is a huge risk. Uh, a huge risk. It actually doesn't even make sense how crazy of a risk this is. But I gotta give it a try here and see what's going on with this. A lot of times sealed booster boxes and stuff outpace the actual price of the loose cards because of it just, I guess it gets tougher and tougher to find the sealed stuff and there's just more demand for people grabbing sealed stuff to open up later on. So we got Tropius and a Victini. Yeah, that's basically why you can pick up like loose packs of this for definitely less than, you could get them for a lot less than $11 a pack. But if you want them straight from a booster box or you just want a sealed booster box, there's a premium to that box basically so i don't know 11 dollars a pack but you can literally get like sleeve packs for a lot less than that even regular just loose packs for a lot less hop if swoobat and an alteria oh my god this is actually really bad this is really bad this is how you burn your money this is basically how you burn your money right now left side has only two regular v cards oh green code card all right this is looking bad this is gonna be an example of what not to do i guess Unless you don't really care about the value that you get. And then it comes down to, is $400 worth the experience for you? With the possibility of maybe getting something crazy out of it and some other cards? Or would you rather just spend the $400 on buying all the cards that you want from the set? Which, you can't get all of them, but you can get a decent chunk of some of the nicer ones. Hitmonchan! Like with $400, you could grab the Sylveon VMAX, the Dragonite V, the Rayquaza V, and the Umbreon V. You get all four of those. And then once you start pushing up to these top or top tier ones, it gets really tough. Like you can't get the Umbreon. You could probably get the Rayquaza and then maybe like one other card like the Dragonite. But it probably still makes sense because the odds of pulling two Ultra Arcs out of one booster box is probably not that good. <laughs> I mean, like, do I expect to pull two all arts out of here? I mean, I guess you could pull a V and a V Max alt art out of the same box, possibly. I don't really know. Let's just see. Well, like, I would not put my money on it, even though I just I am right now, but. It's more for like just to be able to see what happens here and just I don't know I, it's it's so everybody can kind of watch to see what happens basically like C dot bag on oh my god I really don't want to have the worst opening evolving skies of all time here but it's really starting to look like that we got three dollars of cars right now three dollars three but again it just takes one pack you can get super lucky pull that one pack out and you can have the right plaza. We got a Leafeon V. All right, another regular V. Not even, not, like, dude, what is happening? Not even a V-Max. No all arts, no rainbows, like, nothing, just V. This is, this is really just turning out to be probably one of my worst ideas of all time right now. The Leafeon we just pulled is uh, $2, so we got $395 left to go here. Halfway through the box, people. Halfway through the box. What do we got, like, 1% of our value back right now? This is looking so bad. It is ridiculous. Oh my god. At least with the uh, uh, evolutions, you get like tons of pulls from a box. With this, it's like, oh my god. If we don't get at least one secret right out of here, whether it's an alternate artwork or it's a uh, rainbow or whatever, that's going to be just so bad. Like, <laughs> I, I remember one time I had a really, really bad Evolving Skies box, and this is actually on point with that one as of now. Oh my god. Okay, we finally got a VMAX. It took long enough. It seriously took like half the box, more than half the box. $391 left to go here, people. It is not looking too good. But all it takes is a Moonbreon, or honestly, like, even just to get close, like with a Rayquaza alt art or, or something. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened to that car. I just went flying. Hop it! Marie, hop it! Altaria. All right, come on. This box got to get better right now for this to actually make sense. And yeah, I'm not including like the bulk or the code cards or anything like that. I'm just doing straight up like like pretty much V cards are better here. I mean, you can probably add on like $20 for bulk and hollows and stuff if you want. I knew like I was like, all right, this is not going to be that great of an idea here for like. <laughs> but I I, I I was expecting at least like a secret rare, maybe a regular alt art, like not even a V Max, just a regular alt art. Oh my god! Why is this so bad right now? I'm not even getting like hollows at this point. A hollow is like a rare pull right now. Oh my god, this is turning into one of the, this is literally turning into the worst of evolution of uh, evolutions. Of obvious guys opening of my life. Can we change that though? Oh my god, thank you. Finally something. Finally. <laughs> we didn't lose it all. 
We didn't lose it all yet. Oh my god, and it's it's so off center. So don't even consider that as a as a ten. The left to right side is off so much. Uh, we still need a lot more value. Three hundred and seventy seven dollars left to go. <laughs> oh my god, this is bad. Oh my god, this is bad, people. I mean, the pulls are getting better, I guess, but like this is so bad right now. Oh my god. Well, if you're considering opening up one of these for $400, make sure you just watch this whole video uh, to make sure, to just see what happens here. And I don't have super high expectations at this point, but you never know. It only takes one booster pack, so I'm not going to give up completely. We actually got a hollow. We're going to need a heavy hitter. We're going to need a top five card right now or two top ten cards. But yeah, we need at least that. There's no secret rare. <laughs> Tell me there's a secret rare in this box. Oh my god, there has to be, right? Oh no. This is just the game we play, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the game we play here. Alright, should we look? Oh no, every time I look, it's always going to be a green code card. I can never just reveal it and it not be one. Alright, we got Rufflet. I passed a card or two. I don't know what happened. Flabebe, we got... Oh. Earlier days, Sword and Shield is when this set dropped. And it just... It, the pull rate is just not there at all. It's just not there. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Swablu, Litleo. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more packs. Seven. Do I look? Ah, oh my God. I just, I can't get it. I can't get a break on this box. I mean, we pulled so many evolutions. Like 90% of our pulls were evolutions, but they're just Vs and Vmaxes. And then I guess the one full art, but like. Oh my god. Unreal right now. We are getting destroyed. We are getting just destroyed right now. So yeah, like, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if there's anything left in here. But my expectations right now are not looking too good. Shopping Center, Sharpedo. I guess that's why Pokemon's getting rid of ha packs that don't have anything at all. Like, these ones, one reverse. That's it, basically. Um, Scarlet and Violet, the minimum is way better. <laughs> and, uh... The pull rates are way better. <sighs> All right, hop it. Marie, Rufflet. Oh my God. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Oh man. Holy. Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> it's, gonna be a, it's just gonna be a hollow watch. It's just gonna be a hollow. There's no way. Our luck is just gone. I'm sorry. It's not happening on this box, but let's just see. Marie, an S B on V. All right, regular V. <laughs> it's one dollar. It's one dollar. We've only had one booster pack that's had more value than the cost of the pack, and it was the Vaporeon. It was like two dollars more than the cost of the pack. <sighs> destroyed. Completely destroyed right now. Completely destroyed. Oh, what happened to that now? Packs are like messed up a little bit, or the cards are messed up a little bit. The last three. The last three. Okay. Wow. 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 Listen. Uh, might not be the best idea to open up one of these if you were trying to get $400 in value. Might not be the best idea. You could open up like three Scarlet and Violet booster boxes. Just saying. And you probably get like a mountain more of pulls. Uh, you could probably open up. What, like three brilliant stars? I don't even know. I don't even know how this, much those boxes go for. Uh, and get probably a mountain load more pulls. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, brilliant stars. I just checked. $150 a booster box. Uh, you get yourself what? Three of them? Almost. Alright, this is the last pack. Uh, wow. That is a <laughs> $376 loss. Maybe you could say like 350, 360 if you count the bulk. Really not a good idea. A really bad idea. We lost like over 90% of our value or 90%. Unless we get something crazy. Three, two, I can't even look. One. <laughs>